It is the 10th of October, 2021. I'm down in my shop this morning to produce a little video demonstrating some of the issues that I've had with Duracell batteries and their uh, leakage uh, and the damage that that leakage creates in electronic devices that I own and use. Um, the problem seems to be primarily with the smaller cylindrical batteries, uh, quadruple A's, triple A's, double A's, to a lesser degree C's and D's, although the C's and D's do seem to leak too. The rub is that they uh, in, uh, almost invariably leak before their due date. Not always, but they, uh, they do uh, definitely leak very often before the uh, expiration date on the batteries. <clears throat> There's a perfect example. These are March of 2027 Duracell batteries, which you should be able to read. And uh, they're still in their original package. These were purchased at Costco. And you can see uh, a, a number of them have already leaked uh, in rather significant ways. Uh, I had a group of, of trip, uh, AA batteries that had leaked and I was planning on, they were sitting on my desk, I had planned on putting them in this video too, but it took me a while to get around to doing this video and I finally worried of having them sitting on my desk and I threw them in the garbage. <clears throat> I will say that I've never to the best of my recollection, had a leakage problem with a uh, one of the Duracell 9-volt rectangular batteries. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I, I can't say that I have ever had that problem. Nor have I had a leakage problem with these more expensive batteries that are used in more specialized equipment, like uh, these are for my garage door uh, transmitters, opener transmitters. And these batteries are, in fact, uh, 2021, March of 2021 batteries. So they're past their due date, but I can predict with confidence that these batteries are not going to leak. Uh, they do appear to be manufactured in a different way. The enclosures seem to be uh, uh, of different manufacture, and I've never had one of these leak. I've also never had, to the best of my recollection, an Energizer battery leak. This is an A23, same as the uh, Duracells over there, uh, and I, 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 I've never had uh, batteries of this style, or in fact, uh, to the best of my recollection, I've never had an Energizer battery of any size, quadruple A, double uh, A, triple A, whatever. In fact, here is a, a uh, Energizer uh, lithium triple uh, A, uh, which is not leaked. It's not reached its due date, though, so perhaps it will at some point. I've had quite a bit of equipment damage. This is the very first electronic device I ever have had in my life. It was a Christmas present for my father back in the very early 1960s. It's a General Electric transistor AM radio. Still going strong. Uh, it has had some leakage problems, but it, it goes all the way back to the carbon battery days, and uh, I was able to resurrect it. Uh, normally, I, I keep this just as a piece of nostalgia, this old radio, uh, but I was using it as an RF detector and some testing here in the shop and I, uh, I put some Duracell batteries in it because I needed power and I had them, but these uh, March 2029 20, batteries will come out as soon as I'm done with this testing because I don't want to risk further damage to my antique. Uh, uh, here is a uh, aviation band VHF transceiver. This is the alkaline, or correction, the uh, AA uh, battery pack for it, and you can see if you look right there, you can see the corrosion damage that has occurred uh, to this device. And it's in several places, several of the contacts had that problem with Duracell batteries. They're not in here to prove it, but uh, I'll, I'll uh, state as a uh, matter of honesty that they were Duracell batteries that were in there that leaked. Uh, I was able to clean this off well enough with a little acetic acid, followed by a little rinse of distilled water and drying it off all with q-tips to uh, to get it so that it would work. Um, however, if I had not been, it would have been a, a more expensive fix. Both of these Maglite flashlights have been damaged by Duracell batteries. Uh, fortunately, it was caught early enough that I was able to clean them up internally and make them, make them work. Uh, but if it had gone much longer, it would have been a problem. I did have uh, one of these, another one of these uh, exact flashlights that did 
uh, have Duracell batteries leak in it so bad that it, uh, it, it just had to be thrown in the garbage. Um, what piqued my ire this morning was, owing to the COVID pandemic, my wife and I have been traveling less than we used to. We normally, uh, for about 10 years, we've been traveling with some regularity to Europe, and on the long transoceanic flights, we would use our Bose uh, noise-canceling headsets to um, um, make the flight more pleasant, enjoy uh, higher quality audio uh, on the in-flight entertainment. Uh, so this morning I realized, oh, it's been some time since I've since we've flown. I need to look and see whether or not the battery in my wife's headset uh, was leaking. And uh, let's see, let me get a flashlight. Okay, so there you can see inside uh, the crumbs of the uh, uh, material exuding from the battery. Fortunately, I caught it early, and I will be able to clean that up with a little acetic acid and, and distilled water on a, on a, a Q-tip, and this will be uh, entirely serviceable. The capper was, in looking at the spare batteries that I keep in the that we keep keep in the uh, uh, pouch of the unit the case. Uh, these batteries, you can see the accessories, the uh, the uh, exudate from the batteries uh, had gotten on uh, that extension cord. It had gotten on several of the adapters that are inside this case. Uh, that one's okay. Uh, this one had a had quite a bit on it. I. I you can still see a little bit. I, I just scraped a little bit of off my finger. Um, owing to the gold plating, it may not be damaged uh, too bad. I think I'll be able to clean that up just fine. And here are the batteries that were pulled out. You can see the, the residue inside the, the little pouch that contains the accessories and the spare batteries. Uh, here's one of the batteries. And, and uh, you should note that this is a December 2024 battery. December 2024 battery. This battery should not have leaked. And it leaked terribly. Uh, as did... Oh, this one wasn't too bad. Uh, this one leaked badly. Uh, but they all leaked. And they, uh, they've they done some damage to the inside of the case. Now, <clears throat> I, uh, I, I had some double A's that had leaked. And I, as I mentioned, I threw them in the garbage because I didn't... Uh, want to waste any more time with them uh, and they were still within their due date these are uh, these I think are 2029 batteries yeah March 2029 batteries and uh, the the guarantee on them is if not completely satisfied with this alkaline product call 1-800-551-2355 between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Duracell guarantees these batteries against defects in materials and workmanship. Should any device be damaged due to a battery defect, we will repair or replace it at our option. Okay, that's all well and good. Uh, I, on, in one uh, case, tried to get uh, uh, satisfaction on that and I, uh, that warranty, and I found it to be such a hassle as to make it not worth it, and I simply threw the item, I don't even remember what it was, in the garbage and, uh, and carried on with my life. Uh, uh, I'm a retired airline captain, air, airline transport pilot. I am, uh, I've worked as an aerospace engineer, manufacturing engineer, and I can tell you that this does not need to happen. I have had batteries, uh, alkaline batteries that have come, I think, basically from Japan, uh, uh, not, not Duracell brands, that have uh, inadvertently been left in electronic equipment for literally decades and they've never leaked. If you look at the, uh, at the ends of those batteries, it appears that the seals are manufactured in a different way or the cases are manufactured in a different way and they're more resistant to leakage. Now, there may be other engineering factors that are uh, involved with that. I don't know, I haven't torn into the batteries to determine how they're made necessarily, but I can say this, this is an engineering problem. It is a solvable problem. These batteries do not need to leak uh, at all. They certainly don't need to leak b before their due date and uh, it's very aggravating to be a customer of Duracell and have uh, useful, sometimes expensive equipment damaged by these batteries and then uh, have a complicated 
process uh, whereby one uh, uh, seeks to get redress uh, for their grievance against the batteries. So my hope is that someone will see this video at Duracell or maybe better yet at Duracell's parent, which I believe is uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Perhaps Mr. Buffett uh, can drop a solution on Duracell from a great height, ordering them to uh, fix these batteries so that they never leak, period. They don't need to leak. Uh, it would be uh, uh, really advantageous to the customers not to have to deal with this all the time. I have been running around in fear uh, for years now. How have I forgotten something that's, that I haven't been using for a while that's got uh, Duracell batteries in it that's, that's uh, going to be uh, damaged? And I open them up like I did this morning, and it, very often it is the case that they have been damaged, uh, and in a few occasions uh, destroyed. Uh, so my uh, hope is that anybody who sees this video will comment if they've had similar problems with Duracell batteries, and uh, my uh, even greater hope is that maybe Duracell will do something about this. For now, you've lost me as a customer, Duracell. I'm not going to buy any more Duracell batteries. I bought them at Costco because it was convenient, but I won't be doing that anymore. Uh, I'll be using, uh, I'd probably be using energizers and seeing whether or not uh, the, the problem uh, develops with those batteries. Um, so, please respond if you uh, have a, I'd be interested in knowing if you have a similar story.